So I just bought a 1979 Cadillac limo that I want to turn into my daily driver. I love it, but I don't love bleeding money. Let's go take a look at it. All right, y'all, so enough talking. We're gonna take a look inside this 1979 Cadillac limo. He is hot. All right, so on first glance, when you get in there, it absolutely stinks. So the next video we're gonna do is gonna be me straight extracting the carpets and giving this thing a thousand dollar detail because it needs it. As you can see here, inside has a lot of damage. I mean, it's literally a 41 year old car. The, it seems like the window switches are going in, but they kind of still work, so that's cool. These are the old wipers. I don't know if they work. Let's check it out and see. They work. <laughs> Let's see if there's any wash in there. Nope. Just to give you guys a heads up, I've been cruising this thing about a mile a day for like the last week, so I know it works. I don't know if the cruise control works. I don't know if the AC works. Check this out. It says park, reverse, neutral, drive, drive, and low. So I guess there's like two, three, three. I, I don't know anything about that. So next time I talk to you guys, I guess I'll let you know. Everything's pretty much original in here. Damn. Mmm. Icebreakers. Always need one of them. I don't know what happened and how I got this JVC. Let's see if it works. I don't think it works. I don't even know how to take these out. Do you remember how to take these out? It has a USB drive, but it doesn't have a detachable face that I know of. And, and just so you know, it's probably about 140 degrees in here. I don't know what it is about these leatherish seats. I don't even know if they're leather, but they're getting hot. So maybe we'll try this. Let's see if the AC works. Ooh, she starts up. Here goes nothing. Ah, uh, not sure. Yeah, not gonna happen. Obviously, the AC is gonna need a little bit of attention, probably a lot of attention. Let's check out this glove box. Oh, I wonder how many plastic trees still exist <laughs> to make this glove box. Because it's some kind of like plastic wood grainy thing, but ain't nothing going on in there, but oh, just have any insurance, nothing special. Back in the days, our parents used to like not care about smoking in front of us. So they actually put ashtrays in cars and a little lighter thing. I don't know what that lighter thing is called, but check it out, see that? That's crazy. You push it in and in about 15 seconds it gets hella hot and you put your cigarette on it, put it back in. Let's see if it works. Oh, it covers up just like that. Doors seem to work. Whew. It's really hot in here and it stinks. Fuel gauge does not work. So if anyone knows how to fix a fuel gauge, please let me know because I don't know what I'm rolling on. I just know I put $40 in it about two weeks ago and I don't know where I'm at. The generator lights on, I don't know what that means. I do know the horn wants to work. You hear a little clicky, nothing going on, but it wants to work. Pfizer's work. I don't know if these are original or not. Does the lights work on it? Dude, it's getting hot. So it's too hot in here. We're gonna go check out the back seat after we take about a five minute break. Wow. Fabulous 1980 Cadillacs are here. And you can view these luxurious automobiles now at Coast Cadillac in Long Beach. Right now, Coast Cadillac is clearing out the remaining stock of 79s. And this is a golden opportunity to save substantially on a brand new 1979 Cadillac. Here's one example, a 1979 Coupe de Ville, an outstanding value at just $11,414. When you think savings, think Coast. Coast Cadillac, Willow and Redondo, we're in Long Beach.
here it is. Woo! <laughs> I swear, from now on, the keys come out of the car at all times. So here's the best part of a limousine, the actual back. Check out how we got the same old lighter thing right here. Doodad ashtray. I don't know what it's gonna cost to restore those, but it could be a lot. The cool thing about this formal limousine is that this one actually has a partition. A lot of them don't, and this one does. That's where part of the value is. I don't know if this is the original glass or not, but I do know that I need to get a darker glass. Because I don't want the chauffeur to see what's going on in the back. Not like anything illegal is gonna be going back, but the whole point of being in the back is because you wanna be back here by yourself and not having some creepy chauffeur seeing you smoke a cigarette and drink your wine. So I gotta get this fixed. It's one of my biggest priorities. And I don't know how much it's gonna cost, but like everything else so far, you know it's gonna be super expensive. Another thing I need back here is obviously this AC. This would be blowing right in your face, straight getting it in. When I first got this limo, I was a little confused too, because I thought there was these seats and then the same seats were facing you. The cool thing about this is that you could put someone right here facing. That's why this is an eight seater. Three people here, three people can sit in the front and two dorks can sit right here. I don't know why you would, because you're literally not made for someone as tall as me. Actually, yeah, you can't sit like this. You can't cross your legs like a G, but you definitely could sit here. And that's kind of neat. It's kind of got some swing to it. The seats stink. <laughs> it's like 79 years of stink. See, that's the cool thing about them want them we can have them we don't we flip them and we dip them what would be kind of cool is to take these out completely then it wouldn't be a limo but you would also have the leg space of like cream of dual jabbar i definitely gotta detail this car i don't know how there's pet hair everywhere but it's legit everywhere handles are all messed up i'm gonna have to rebuy handles because they're obviously not up to code I don't know if there's such thing as code, but in my limousine, there will be code. You might want to come in if possible, because we got this cool car freshener. I don't know if you guys remember these, but this is like a sign of this 90s and 80s. One of the best parts of these are the reading lights. This one doesn't work, but I'm gonna turn this one on, and that's super cool. I like it, everyone else might not like it, so, but you don't have to come in the back of my limousine then. Also right here, if you can see, we straight up have the AC control. I'm not sure if this is its own unit, but it looks like you can control the temperature from the back. So look at that. You can close it up so that people can't mess with it. <laughs> Cause I would definitely keep this thing above 90 all the time. Not 105 like it is right now. If this car was detailed and clean, I wouldn't even matter about it being so hot, but it's it's kind of itchy right now because it's so hot and stinky and I just don't know why there's dog hair everywhere. And it's kind of like giving me fleet vibes. Um, that's about it back here, guys. I'm really excited to detail this more than anything. Look at this little armrest. And this thing's gonna be tight, man. I can't wait to get someone back here. But first things first, I definitely need a partition and I definitely need to get my other reading light because I'm gonna use the back of this to read books. Now we're gonna take a look at the hood. I don't think I've ever opened this hood by myself and we're gonna try it. I know there's a hood latch right there. I wonder if this has an emergency brake. Look at this chrome gilding woman. Look at this chrome gilding woman. I have a mechanic coming, and so I'm not gonna elaborate on the engine too much because one, it's hella dirty, and two, I don't know anything about it. You know, I know I just bought a battery, and I know there's a radiator. I always said to myself, if I ever get a Cadillac, the radiator won't blow up. Because anyone that's had a Cadillac in the 90s or the 80s, you know that your radiator is the first thing that blows, and that won't happen to me. So, this is it. It looks like crap right now, and it smells like crap. Go check out the trunk. Okay. 
So this is the trunk. Just so you know, I heard that the formal Cadillacs fit a lot of bodies in it. We're gonna try to get in there. As you can see, there's a lot of rat's nest and stuff over there, so I hope I don't get in no rat turds or something like that. Here, <laughs> just in case. I think that's the key, but if not, keep trying. What if I got locked in here and I had the keys? <laughs> Let's see, uh-oh, don't slam it. I think I could fit like two or three knees in there. They don't slam too hard. Go on. Nah. <laughs> Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, I can't go with the tire, but you get the point. You can fit about three or four bodies in here. I don't want to touch all that rat poop. But comes with a spare white wall. Don't worry. We're going to get new white walls. <laughs> We're going to get them trues and bugs. I would never have a Cadillac without them. I don't know who bought these or who would be. Who would dare do this, but you know how we do it. I got a cover for the paint job that I don't quite have yet. But someday, dream big. I got the keys. You got the keys? Last thing before we wrap this up is I need a paint job. Look at that. I like the gray. But let's be real, it's not sleek black. I'm looking for something powdered. So if you know anyone that knows somebody, let me know. But look how big these are. Like, these are pretty bad. And I don't think these are clear coats. I think these are actual damage. Actually, I don't know, that could be clear coat. Take a look at this. My top is decent. It's just a little ashy, just like its owner. That's what we do. We're gonna probably moisturize it, restore this baby. I think you could patch these holes up. If so, then I'll do it myself. If not, we're gonna have to redo it. But look at the paint right here. See how bad the hood is? On video, it looks clean. But when you come up to it, you really get to see all the imperfections. And when we're riding in this, there can't be no imperfections. Someday when I DJ again, who knows when that'll be. We're gonna have to roll up to our gigs like this, me and all our friends, we'll just drop everybody off and meet up, meet up at two. But, well guys, thank you. You know, this is my baby, this is my new project. You know, I'm definitely already in about three grand, let's say just under the hood. And you know, I wanna try to stay under $7,000 total with paint job, but who knows? You know? So if anyone has any advice on how to get this thing up and running to its true potentials, feel free to hit me up and comment, like, subscribe, do whatever we can do so that I could come pick you up. Till next time, let's go. Tank. So check this out. I guess when I was hitting the car out of anger, the, actually, I think the back reading light came on. It did. Nice. Look, it came on. <laughs> Look at that. I think it just needed a little bit of beating. Oh, it's off again. Damn it. There it is. Nice. What did I, I hit the trunk. I slammed the trunk and it worked. Nice. I still have to fix it because it needs to be consistently working all the time because if I'm reading a Dr. Seuss or a Beverly Cleary book, I need to make sure that these things are sufficient light. So, hop. Oh, thanks, guys. Ugh.